It should be stated for the record that not all celebrations are stupid. This wasn't stupid. Neither was this. And these two were probably the least stupid things we've seen in baseball in years. Having said all of that, however, let the idiocy begin. We live in an era where every first down is treated like a bar mitzvah. But if you're going to dance for crying out loud, dance. And if you're going to dance, don't do it like this. Last year, Terrell Owens came to Dallas but left his brain in San Francisco. George Teague showed he had heart. So did Emmett. Owens was suspended a game by his team for this by a coach that perhaps not coincidentally, he doesn't hardly speak to today. 1998, Brett Hall, still with St. Louis, shoots and scores on Garth Snow, and there was much rejoicing. And then there was a trip to the optometrist. We stay with hockey. Milan Heyduk has a few good ideas, but then he forgets you can't swim when the water is frozen. You know, you don't expect celebrations on the golf course. This one was understandable. This one probably shouldn't have happened. This one was just an embarrassment. At number five, the very height of self-aggrandizement. And with Lou Brock right next to him. But today, I'm the greatest of all time. Thank you. Number four, we have a tie for the worst sports dancing ever. On the field, Coy Detmer. Off the field, Mark Madsen. This, the mother of all bad dancing. In fact, to even call this bad dancing is an insult to bad dancers everywhere. And all of us are now worse dancers for having seen it. Number three, 1997 key game for the Redskins and Giants and Gus Farad headbutts a concrete wall with a thin layer of padding on it. Not his best moment. He was taken to the hospital for observation. Number two, Matt Hasselbeck. He's happy, he's grateful, he's all by himself. Hold everything, guys. Can we back that up again? That was just too good. Wait a minute, we have to see that again. I know, I know. Number one, just this past weekend, Bill Gramatica. Comparatively meaningless field goal in the first quarter of a game his team ultimately lost. That's a torn ACL, folks. He's out for the year.